Hello, and thanks for coming over. We took a day out and visited the town of St. Albert, which is just north of Edmonton. Specifically, we decided to check out some of the more historical aspects that the town is so known for. The main being the area around St. Albert's Mission Hill. The path up the hill is shown right in front of us, and the Sturgeon River, where we started the video, is behind us in this shot. The Mission Hill area was essentially where the Métis settlement of St. Albert was founded in 1861 when a Catholic priest named Father Lacombe created a small chapel, which you will see shortly. As you know from my videos, I have an interest in history, and this video is by no means glorifying or justifying any particular part of the past. Please enjoy the video, and thanks very much for coming over. As of right now, it's been reconstructed to, to resemble uh, how it looked originally when it was still a church. Right. Uh, still a chapel, I should say. Because it was used as a chapel for 10 years, and then after those 10 years were done, there was a different church that had been built. And they just fit exactly, perfectly together. Uh, and it fits together and, and creates the, the building itself. Each one has, is numbered, like Roman numeral kind of thing. And so it, it's kind of like building a Lego set almost, but as a, a building. Bishop and Father Combe came and they brought some oblates after they uh, arrived. Oblates are like uh, the uh, Order of Mary Immaculate. It's like a sect in, in the church. Right, okay. And they came and they helped uh, with the founding of, of St. Albert and whatnot. And then after, uh, because the oblates all, you know, had, had things to do, Father Lacombe was very, he was only here for like four years and then he, he left. They were all over the place. And so they asked the Grey Nuns, because the oblates and the Grey Nuns are, are very close sort of sects. Mm -hmm. And they said, hey, can you come here and, uh, and help with the founding? They are from the same time period as Paul Lacombe Chapel was, was first erected, but, uh, but they're not from the chapel itself. So things like our uh, incense uh, is, is certainly from the same time period. Our mass bell is, I know our cross certainly is, our chalice, which I don't know if you know this, but the chalices, they have to be pure gold or pure silver to, to be functional in, in the church. And so this, the parish is the third uh, religious building used for, for mass and stuff that was built in St. Albert. The first one was Father Lacombe Chapel. And then, like I said, uh, after 10 years later, it was deconsecrated, right, for many different uses. Mm -hmm. And after it was deconsecrated, that was because there was a different church that was erected uh, somewhere sort of to the, to the back and left of this church here. Um, but that church burnt down. Uh, huh. And when it did, the only thing that they had was uh, the basement created of the parish, essentially. And so they popped a roof on the basement, and they used that as the, uh, as the church for for a while. They thought they were cracked for a number of years, actually, which is why we have uh, the other bell up in the tower over there. Uh, they thought these ones were cracked. Uh, they weren't. It turns out that they were being hung with leather, leather strappings, oh. and the leather had just it had gotten so old that it had elongated, and they weren't hitting the, the bell itself. Uh, these big marble uh, coffin kind of things, like, like their coffin was inside of these big marble uh, uh, yeah, surroundings, and, and that was just in the basement of just down here. Um, but every time that people would come, they would... They would... So St. Bernadette uh, was this, this young girl, this is how the, how the story goes, she's a young girl in, in France, and, uh, and she lives in one of the lower uh, sort of castes of the system, right? Because it's a very, it's a very uh, uh, classist sort of system, as things were back then. Mm -hmm. And St. And Bernadette was in the lowest of the low. She was poor, she uh, was dirty, and people looked down upon her and her family. Mm -hmm. And she, uh, she one day is down by the river, and she sees uh, what she knows to be Mother Mary. And so she... Uh, she goes up and she tells people that she's seen Mother Mary, nobody believes her, mm. and this happens a number of times. She goes back down to the river, sees Mother Mary, tells people no one believes her, and eventually she gets uh, a father to come, a father of, of the church. Mm -hmm. And he comes down with a couple of other people, and she sees Mother Mary, and she's, Mother Mary is beckoning her over. And so she goes to Mother Mary, and she finds uh, a little grotto in the river, mm -hmm. and that's what this grotto is supposed to represent. And the, the grotto uh, is, you know, it's it's has water inside of it. It's dirty and muddy. And Mother Mary says, "Come, drink from from the water in this grotto." And so Saint Bernadette says, "Okay." She 
she goes and she, she drinks this water and the people watching, the father, the, the spectators are all disgusted. They're saying, why would you, why would you do this? And, um, and as she's drinking the water, it starts to bubble and it's a, a fresh water spring essentially appears. And it's a miracle and, and Bernadette is, is uh, seen as, as the first person ever in history to witness Mother Mary incarnated on earth. those graves, the headstones for them are more recent, but lots of these headstones with old names on them and whatnot mm. are uh, are from back then. So there's like a 1905, that's pretty recent, 1871, Mary Goodman. Lots of the names you'll see here are are named after, or named after, we have streets named after them. Here's the uh, the double. So this is uh, Léon Fafel and Félix Marchand. Uh, ici repose les restes du, which means like here lies the rest of uh, Leon Fafard and Félix Marchand, and these are two that at the bottom it says, uh, just trying to read this a little bit grass, uh, a frog Lake Alberta pendant la rébellion. So, killed at Frog Lake Alberta during the rebellion, they're talking about Louis Riel's rebellion, and when the rebellion first started in, uh, in Frog Lake, two priests were killed, uh, and these are the two, uh, two fathers, and that is what set the government off more than anything, mm -hmm. because uh, members of the clergy were seen as holy, right? were seen as not people who could have wrong done to them. And man with a good heart, man with a pure soul. Uh, he was obviously, you know, uh, loved by, by the people. Uh, someone came here with an amazing passion on his grave. Uh, just some beating.